Hi, my name is Francisca and today I want to show you how to make this vintage sign. Actually, the sign is new, I just aged it. A DIY vintage look and making a template are pretty easy. I will show you how you can do it yourself. You will need a piece of untreated wood, some cardboard in the same size, a printout of the text you want, steel wool from the hardware store, vinegar, coffee powder and hot water, paint and a sponge, a box cutter and utility gloves. Glue your printed text onto the cardboard. Cut along the letters with a box cutter. Punch all of the letters out of the cardboard. There's your template. Now we'll create the die to give the wood a weathered, used look. Put the steel wool into a container and pour vinegar in until it's covered. If you have a cover, close the container. Pour hot water on the coffee and stir it. You can use instant coffee too. Let the coffee and steel wool sit for a couple of days. The longer you wait, the darker the dye gets. Then pour the two liquids together. Use the mix to paint the wood all over. Don't forget the edges. And don't worry, the smell won't last long. Once it's dry, use a brush to remove the coffee grounds. Now center your template on the piece of wood. Use tape to fix it on the sides. If you have putty, use it to get an even firmer fit. If not, roll up some tape. In my case, the O had to be glued down with putty. Now use a sponge to dab the paint mix around the template. Go over the template several times. Be sure to press the template onto the wood firmly so the dye doesn't seep. Use a brush to paint the contours more precisely if you like. Then remove the template and remove any tape or putty. And there it is, your brand spanking new vintage sign. If you want your sign to look even older, Pound on it with a hammer or put in a few nail holes. And if you would like it to look more grey, leave out the coffee and just use the vinegar steel wool mix. 